What kind of ending was that? Out of a show that is built off the back of being a form of writing that is like a the highest, smartest, cleverest form of writing that we've seen in a very, very long time. And the whole point of Game of Thrones is that this is a story that takes turns that we've never seen before. It takes us in places that we've never seen. It does things that no other show would dare to do. There's no cliche characters. There's no one who's just all good or all bad. There's just a complex mixture for each character. That's what makes them interesting. Just like people, we're all a complex mixture of strength and weakness and good and bad. And it's a mirror of history and it's rich with with detail and, and cleverness. To see that reduced down to the most predictable, cliched, boring TV Saturday morning cartoon level of writing. Are you kidding me? We get no backstory for the Night King whatsoever. What the hell was the point of even seeing his creation? It meant absolutely nothing. He's just generic bad guy who's there to cover the whole world in ice. Why does he want the whole world in ice? We don't know. Why doesn't he just stay north of the wall if all he wants is winter because that's the land of always winter? We don't know. Why did he wait all this time until he finally makes his uh, attack south of the wall? I don't know. I mean, if if he also can have access to the Weirwood network like Bran could, wouldn't he also know that it was a trap there with Bran? Why the hell would he even go in there if he knows that taking him out would take everyone else out? Why wouldn't he just send his stooges in there? What's the, what's the point of having drones that you mind control if you're not going to have them do the dangerous stuff for you? Don't personally go after Bran. It happened right in front of a weirwood tree. You should have known it was going to happen. Hell, why did he even attack at a time when there were dragons around in the first place? Well, maybe because you need to break the wall down, I guess. But honestly, what the hell was the point of Bran? Really, he's just bait. He's just bait to get the Night King to show up because the Night King's stupid enough to actually walk into a trap like that. And Arya. Arya is the one to take out the Night King. Putting aside that that ending of Phantom menacing all the whites by killing the Night King is just lazy, lazy, lazy. Putting all that aside, where the hell did Arya come from? Where the hell did she come from? How did she get in there? What she can teleport now? We know from a couple seasons ago that everyone just teleported all over the map to, to at the end of the season when Danny was about to invade Westeros and all that what the, and why why did Danny save Jon Snow from being killed by all those whites he is in front of her in line to the throne she's come all this way for the throne why would she want to save the only person who has a better claim to the throne than her I just don't get it is she really in love with him doesn't seem like it and good lord of lights the amount of times that there's someone in the battle who is completely surrounded by whites and you're like they're screwed there is no way they're getting out of there magically someone shows up who is able to hold off an entire army like Jon Snow was completely completely surrounded by whites we cut away we cut back and he's single-handedly fighting against all of them and then Danny's able to fly in with a dragon with pinpoint accuracy and with one swipe take out a whole 360 degree range of attack that he's facing there with just one straight angle slice it how does that even make any sense sense and what the hell was the point of Melisandre she made a bit of fire I mean what they couldn't do that themselves don't they have oil in this universe sure they might not have wildfire it's all down in King's Landing but don't they have oil they have lamps don't they those torches oily rags stuck on the end that's why they burn can't they pour a bit of that in there what the hell do you even need her for to give a little pep talk to Arya when the hell did Arya become the the prince who was promised or whatever I I thought Jon Snow was supposed to be that didn't Melisandre herself say that Jon Snow is supposed to be the guy he's supposed to be Azora High with the flaming sword who kills the Night King and ends the the long night or whatever the hell it's called. Now it's Arya all of a sudden? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense if it was Bran? I mean, out of all the books, like the very first book, the very first chapter of the very first book is told from the perspective of Bran. Like, wouldn't it make sense that he just whips out the dagger and stabs him? I, I just don't get it. I don't understand what the hell these people are thinking. And can you, why are these two idiots who make this, oh, I mean, they're getting a star. These these two guys, same guys who wrote bloody Wolverine Origins, who thought it would be a great idea to sew Deadpool's mouth shut. Those same guys made this, took one of the greatest book universes, stories told over multiple, one of the greatest ones of all time, and just totally wasted it, completely squandered it, threw it out. It's just, oh, oh. 
Oh, it's like someone taking the Mona Lisa and doing some fifth grader finger painting over the top of it. It's an insult. It's an insult to the art that is George R. R. Martin's work. And I know there's going to be a lot of people out there, those dum dums who are just like, oh, it's a TV show. Oh, it's a good way to end the show. Shut up, okay? You're wrong. It's not. If you think this was a good ending, if you think this was a good way to end the 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 battle, the the conflict with the Night King, then you never understood Game of Thrones in the first place. All you ever knew was, oh, shocking stuff happens, there's sex, people get stabbed out of nowhere, oh, didn't see that coming. You never understood the show. Never. So shut up. This is not a good ending. I mean, what? why the hell did Jon Snow even come back? Why did the Hound even come back? I mean, what, so the Hound could just hold them off slightly so that Arya could get down the hallway because she's the prince who was promised? Or And the other dude who's been resurrected like seven times? Like, for that? That to to, to do a Hodor, only not as, as good? That, that's what he was brought back to? for like back to life like so many times for that what are you talking about that how is that a good ending so now danny and and john snow are gonna go down and fight cersei like who cares who cares it doesn't matter anymore unless they pull some kind of a, a a twist where they're like oh that that guy we thought was the night king he was just another white walker the real night king is way up north of the wall out of harm's way in his ice palace where he should be where nobody can actually get it and get him and he's controlling the whole thing from there that'd be a twist I guess but then why would why did everyone Phantom Menace so no that was the Night King I mean I I just it's just awful 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 I can't say it enough I will say it again though awful just just awful and I just cannot believe that this is the ending that George R.R. Martin has planned for the books I know they keep trying to say oh he told us how it ends in the books we're just going to do it in the show I don't buy that for a second there's no way George R.R. Martin would write an ending this cliched and this bad also it would kind of shaft his own books because why would anyone want to read the books if they already know the ending so of course like I I don't buy that for a second I wouldn't be surprised if George R.R. Martin deliberately came up with the crappiest ending he possibly could which would actually be some very smart Game of Thrones style manipulation on his part because now there's a lot more motivation to want to read the books because you want the satisfying ending that you never got in the show so hats off to you George R.R. Martin maybe that's the real Game of Thrones maybe that's you manipulating these uh, morons on the on the TV and that's like the most expensive TV battle and the longest TV battle of all time was it who who cares you couldn't even see it it was it was like a scene from um, the end of batman v superman it was just just awful awful 